That is so gorgeous. You didn't help him pick this out. All by himself. And you didn't see it coming? No, totally surprised. Mm, that's the keeper. <laughs> All right, ladies, break it up. Emily got engaged. Oh, yeah? Good for you. Drug test for the homeless guy in exam room five. You are such a romantic. That's me, Dr. Love. Back to reality. Mm -hmm. Hello. I need to draw some blood. Is that all right? Bye-bye. You're not going bye-bye just yet. You need to roll up your sleeve? Bye-bye. 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 What's the hurry? You just got here. Okay, you're gonna feel a little pressure. Bye bye, Emily. Hey, how'd you know my name? Something, something's wrong. Oh my God. God's not here, Emily. I need to get some help. Fred! You're hurting me. Go! Oh. Oh, Emily, what is it? Start it! Help! Somebody help me! Stop! Bye -bye. Stop! Let go of me! Bye bye! What do you mean? Hundred-year-old homeless dude had a heart attack. Shocker, alert the media. Yeah, but why don't I remember? I took his blood and next thing I know, Fran's yelling at me to get the crash cart. Okay, Em, I know this may come as a bit of a shock to you, but uh, you're kind of a sensitive person. He stuck a guy with a needle. He had a heart attack. He had a momentary freak out. <sighs> yeah, I guess. People dropping dead is part of the job. Don't give it another thought. Just go home. Have crazy fiancé sex with Will. <laughs> Is that your mother? 
Welcome to the family. Not call me Linda anymore. Now it's mom. Morning, mom. Morning, mom, it's, <laughs> it's seven in the morning. No, sweetie, it's good to see you. We have got a lot of work to do. A wedding doesn't plan itself, you know. So, first thing, I got all the new bridal magazines. Oh, but the first order of business is we have to choose your colors because we can't even send invitations out if we don't know what colors we're dealing with. And, oh, the church, of course, we're going to do it at St. Mark's. But we've got to call Father Avital and get you two enrolled in the marriage courses immediately. Yeah. And the, oh, my God, I almost forgot the best thing. Ta-da! You bought a wedding dress? Mom, we haven't... Well, no, I, I mean, this is what I wore to marry your father. I just, I wanted Emily to have it. Only if you like it. It's, it's, it's pretty... Yes, it's, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I, I love it. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, my daughter-in-law. Yeah. Hold on, you two times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, old baby. <laughs> Let's get coffee. Come on. Let's get to work. Come on, you two. Okay. Can you call the lab about the results on four? It's been over an hour. I think I can probably make that happen for you. Try and work into your schedule, will ya? Mm, he's so hot, don't you think? In like a nerdy, doctor, antisocial kind of way. Uh, I'm sorry. Is my fantasy office romance boring you? What? Are you with me here? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I'm just... I'm just so spacey. I just keep drifting off and... Oh, my God. That's why you're getting married, isn't it? What? You're totally knocked out. No, no, I, I'm not. Oh, you denying it proves it. I know what knocked up sounds like, and that's it. Oh, you know what knocked up sounds like. Mm -hmm. Emily, can you assist them with the suturing on exam one? Sure thing, Fran. Doctors, you heard it here first. And... We're done. There you go. Emily here is going to bandage you up, all right? Well done, Sporto. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, I guess. You did great. You're like one of the bravest patients we've ever had. Really? Absolutely. So you play baseball? Yeah. What position? Second base. Well, I love baseball. So what's your favorite team? Dodgers. It's not, okay? Em, it was an accident. Okay, you've got to pull yourself together. Give us a minute. I'll have time. I think we saved the finger. Oh, God. And what the hell happened? I don't remember. 
I was talking to him and he was smiling and then next thing I know he's he's screaming. Oh my god, what did I what did I do? Emily, listen. The kid moved, okay? You told him not to, but he did. He moved right when you were cutting. It was an accident. An accident caused by a squirming child, that's all. But he didn't. He did. If you want to continue working here as a nurse. And we need you here, Emily. I need you here. You understand me? Thank you, Dr. Bogan. Hey, come on. You're a good nurse and a good person. This was just a freak accident that will never, ever happen again, right? No. No, it won't. Good. Now, you need anything, anytime, you can always call me. All right? Yeah. I'm developing carpal tunnel. Girl, come on. Okay, I'm coming out. Just don't laugh. It's gorgeous. Really am. I like it too. This is without alterations? This is right out of the box. I didn't expect it to be this awesome. Honestly? Me neither. You sure you should be wearing white though? Shut it. I'm just saying. You better watch it, because I haven't picked out the bridesmaid dresses yet. Okay, I take it back. I take it all back. The last thing I need is to have to pick out a peach-colored potato sack. With matching shoes. Lest we forget the shoes. <gasps> Don't say that. Stop. What? What? No, you what? Huh? What did you just say, weirdo? I didn't say anything. <laughs> You totally just whispered something. Oh, I guess I was talking to myself. Sorry, I'm changing out of this. It's too weird walking around in this thing. I think you should rock that dress and we should hit the bar. Okay, well, do what you want. Right. Changing. Jesus, I'm sorry, I just heard you talking. Get the fuck out! Damn. What? I still think I was overdressed. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sweetie, you were perfect. <laughs> I just have to say something. You really hope you two are going to start a family soon. Linda, don't pressure the kids. There you go. Of course, if you guys are thinking about having a family, I'm sure your mother has a lot of good advice. A lot of advice, starting right now. The clock is ticking. Right now. It's got to be happening. Uh, with Linda, the clock is always ticking with Linda. Mother, I'll be down. Oh, so nice of you to come. Oh, I wouldn't miss it. William, great to see you. It's been too long. Yes, it has. Father. This is Emily, my fiance. Father Robert Hilton has been my priest since, well, since I was born. Mm -hmm. oh, well, that makes me feel old. Oh, please, you don't look a day older than the first day you arrived at oh, St. Mark's. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, Emily. William's mom and dad speak very highly of you. Oh, yeah. They tell me you're in medicine. 
She's a nurse at County. Yeah. Oh, an honorable profession. Do you like it? Em? Um. Father, I am sorry. <sighs> She's not been feeling very well. In certain cases, it's the exact thing that needs to be done. Yeah, you could be right. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, yeah, sure. Emily, what's going on? What the hell? See me looking at me. Emily, Jesus, this is your engagement party. What are you thinking? If you don't want me, then just tell me. Just stop. because I tend to get a little chatty after champagne. <laughs> okay, so, I've known Emily since freshman year of college. That's when she was going through what I like to call her mom jeans phase. <laughs> but with my guidance, she rebounded from fashion disaster. <laughs> Sweetie, dial it back. Um, when she met Will, I knew it was special. She never talked about boys, so when she brought him up, I just knew that... <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm kind of doing something up here. <laughs> Emily! Oh my god. Are you cut? You okay? Are you okay? Do you need me? Okay? Okay. Okay. You're lucky you didn't cut yourself. Are you on something? No, of course not. I just... I, I don't know. I guess I just had too much champagne. No, I've seen you drunk. I've never seen you act like that. That was just plain rude. I'm sorry. You're acting like a crazy person. Do you want me to call the whole thing off? Hmm? Do you want out? No. Oh, you don't have to put on a show. You just have to tell me. You are my person. I know I can act crazy sometimes. This isn't the norm M crazy, this is... A little elevated? Yeah, a little. supposed to be there for 20 more minutes right i know consider this your reminder call i'm sorry honey i'm just not thrilled about catholic marriage class i know but it's important to my folks father avatel means a lot to us and if we want him to do the wedding we gotta do the classes okay i'm walking out the door right now a girl love you Nice to see you again. Uh, again? Uh, Father Avital was at our engagement party, sweetie. I introduced you. Oh, 
Right, of course. I'm, I'm sorry, Father. It's, it's good to see you again. You don't remember us meeting? I'm afraid I celebrated a little too much that night. Yes. <laughs> and our talk in the back hallway. Oh, no. Did we have a full-on conversation? <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed what you must think of me. <laughs> what did we talk about? Never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's get started, shall we? Okay. talked about it but i've always wanted kids i mean i guess we both have right sweetie yes fill the earth and subdue it genesis 128 do you like it no um that's quite all right it it is a little intense, I admit. But you see, the crucifixion is a violent and gory reminder of the ultimate sacrifice. But it is also the ultimate sign of faith. What the fuck are you looking at? Emily! I'm sorry. Oh, you should be. Em. He's leering at me. What? <sighs> I am looking at you, Emily. Tell him to stop raping me with his eyes! Emily! I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. It's probably the flu. Yes, sometimes a, a fever can bring on strange behavior. Yeah. William, I'm going to ask you a delicate question. Uh, I don't want to upset you. Okay. Is there a history of mental illness in Emily's family? What? Well, you, you know... Bipolar disorder, manic depression, schizophrenia, that sort of thing. She's adopted. Um, I don't know her family history. How are you feeling? I'm mortified. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, Father. Oh, don't be silly. You're not responsible for getting ill. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you, Father. William, why don't you go bring the car around? I'll walk in later. No, I, I, I don't mind. No, no, go ahead, William. I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Okay. I'll see you in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Emily, what happened between you and Dr. Bogan the other night at your engagement party? What do you mean? in the hallway. Uh, did I not introduce you to? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm horrible at the whole hostess thing. Emily, I saw you. You know I saw you. You saw me what, Father? I don't, I don't know what you're saying. Well, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I don't know. Maybe she does have a fever. Yeah. She's in the shower now. Okay, I'll check when she's out, but... Mom, I gotta go. I want you. I thought you weren't 
feeling very well. Mm, now I feel amazing. Don't I look amazing? <laughs> what is going on with you? You just yacked your guts out all over a priest. Right after you accused him of raping you with his eyes, what? He was leering at me. He likes my body. You don't. Emily, he thinks you're insane. Fuck him. Fuck him? Oh my... What is wrong with you? Please. Please tell me. <laughs> Everything is right. Hey, hey, I'm serious. What if this is some kind of bipolar thing, huh? <laughs> Listen, we should talk about it. No more talking. You shredded my back. I'm gonna actually need stitches. Hey. Hey, Em. Where are you going? Can I sleep with you tonight? Well, wait, how did, you, how did you get in here? The door was unlocked. No, I locked it. Oh, I guess you didn't. Okay, Emily, I, I love you, but you're scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> you shouldn't be scared. You should be horrified. Why? What do you mean? You should be horrified because you know I'm here to hurt you, Tara. Get out. Emily, get, 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 get out of my house. You should be horrified because you know that when you look at me... I'm not Emily! Okay. Emily. 
Please. It's, it's me. Emily's not here to protect you anymore. Hey, Tara, what's going on? I need you to get up in here right now. Tara? <laughs> She's gone crazy. Well, slow down. What do you mean? What's going on? No, don't, don't, don't. Tara, please. I'm coming over right now. I think she wants to hurt me. Is Tara. I'm walking out right now. Please do not call the cops. Let me handle this. You're not here in 10 minutes. I will be. Tara. Let me in, Tara. Leave me alone! Why are you doing this? Tara. Take my hand, Tara. I'm calling the cops, Emily! Take my hand, Tara. Take my hand. Tara! Tara, I'm not going to kill you. I'm not going to kill you! I'm not going to kill you! I'm not going to kill you! Tara, open the door. M. Tara. you a few questions yes uh, of course sure can you um walk us through the events of the evening uh, we went to father avatel's office and then and then i'm not so sure we were at home and emily decided to come over to Terrace for the night um she came here and then went to bed All right sweetie yeah. Why don't you spend the night here? We had a fight. Why don't you let her answer? We did. We had a, a fight, and and I was upset. So I came over here, and next thing, 
I know. It was shaking me awake and... And, and Tara... And then... And then Tara just... She just... Oh my God. Why'd you come over here so late? Like I said, we'd had a fight. And I, I wanted to make up, so... I came over, I... Walked in here, and... And I found her. What was the fight about? That's personal. Look, I think there's enough questions, uh, Detective. Um, we've had a rough night. I'd like to take my fiance home <sighs> so that we can cope with this tragedy. Sure. You burning up. I'll get you an aspirin. Why would she do that, Will? What? I don't know, honey. She killed herself. Yeah, I know. She's going to burn in hell. You don't believe that. I know it. She'll burn and run. And there will be no reprieve. Emily? Hey. hey. What's happening to me? I have no idea. I really don't know, sweetie. Just can you, can you just can you just me? I love how you're always cold even in the summer. I love how you say you like horror movies but cover your eyes the whole time. I love how you how you laugh with your whole body. I, I love that you like me to tell you all the things that I love about you. Should hold. But we're gonna have to call an ambulance. Why did you do this? I, I was going to hurt you. What? I was going to stab you. 
While you slept, I went to get the knife and I stood over you. I, I was going to cut you. I wanted to do it. He, he told me how good it would feel. Who did? The demon inside of me. At first, he just whispered. I, I could hear him, but I couldn't make out what he was saying. But then, then he got louder. And now, and now he's overpowering me. And I, I can't fight him. He killed Tara. And he, he tried to kill you. And the only way I could, I could stop him was to cut myself. You're just sick, sweetie. You're just sick. We're gonna fix this. You and me. I'm gonna call an ambulance. And we're gonna get you the best help that you can possibly get. I'm gonna go get my phone. Okay? Just gonna get my phone and call an ambulance. Don't, don't leave me, please, don't go. Go, well, don't. Well, don't go. Emily? Emily! Emily, open this door! Open this door right now! Emily! Emily, what's going on in there? No more Emily. What? Your bitch isn't here anymore. Stop it. I'm, I'm calling a doctor. He'll take care of you. Mm, I'm not calling anyone. I think you. Tara killed herself. I'm sorry to barge in like this. It's okay. Do you have something to tell me? Yes? Yes, um, I'm not sure how to say it. Is it about Emily? Yes. William, I have known you since you were born. I christened you, I gave you first communion, I saw you graduate high school and college. I love you like my own son. I hope that is unquestionable. You've always been there for me, Father. Then please take what I'm about to say in the spirit that it's meant. 
You're having second thoughts. And I think they're warranted. What? She's not the woman you thought she was. Am I close? Yes, but it's more than that. She's changed. Yes, well, that happens. The good thing is you saw it in time. Oh, you don't understand. I do. I do. These things happen. This is why the marriage classes are so important. Look, I'm not, I'm not here because I am afraid that I am marrying the wrong girl. I'm, I'm here because I believe that someone or something, something evil has control of her father. She's been unfaithful. No, God damn it. No, listen. Listen. I, I think that... I think that Emily is possessed. Possessed. Hello? aren't you? Let me open the window for you and get some fresh air. <sighs> Emily? I'm going to fill up the tub for you. something else here at work father hold on we cannot excuse her crimes or mental disorders by screaming demonic possession you're a priest you're supposed to believe in this shit oh at least take a look at her father i am telling you that the woman i love is possessed by the devil now you say that you love me like a son well, I'm asking you for your help, not your judgment, not your jokes, help. Father, will you help me?
Sweetie? Father Avatar is here. gonna help us. William, don't. Adam, what happened? Did you hurt yourself again? What's happened? Get away from her. Talk to me. William, that's not her blood. What? Call the police. The police. <laughs> She's hurt someone, William. Probably killed them by the amount of blood up there. And I think we can assume she was responsible for Tara's death. The police won't understand. What language is that? Latin. What's she saying? It's, it's ancient phraseology. Uh, a rough translation would be farewell or, or something more colloquial. Bye bye? Yes. Yes, she's repeating it in Latin. She doesn't speak Latin. I never believed in the devil or demons or any of this shit, but there is something else controlling her. Tell me you don't see that. I do. What are you going to do about it? What would you like me to do? An exorcism? Those days are gone. <sighs> I need to talk to someone. You're leaving? You want answers I don't have. I need to talk to someone. Stay away from her, William. She's dangerous. I'll be back in a while.
Henry. You? How are you, Henry? You've got a lot of nerve. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. No. I'm sure you wouldn't. What's in the bag? Peace offering. Emily? You hungry? I made you a sandwich. I'm scared. I don't know what's going on. I don't know who you are anymore. I'm losing you. Maybe I already have. I love you. We're gonna make it through this. I promise you. Understand that you you know things I don't. Don't tell me you believe. Maybe. Yes. But you didn't believe back then when it mattered. No, but you can understand. When I you just... had me excommunicated. I did what I thought was best. You know about what's best. Sitting in your ivory tower, passing judgment from way up above. That's what you never understood, Jimmy. You can't help people from way up there. You have to get down in the dirt and the mud, and you have to get your hands dirty. You have to sacrifice some of your own comfort if you want to help people. Oh, I've heard this sermon from you before, Henry. You went against the church. You defied the archbishop. You, you, you fell from grace. I saved people. I did more wearing that collar than you ever did. Not going to save more. What about the ones you hurt? You forget about them, Henry. The ones you hurt. Look, you may have been right, but you went about it the wrong way. The church has rules for a reason. There's no room for mutiny. We, we, we can't have your kind of chaos and insanity. Oh. Now you need me. Now you believe. Yes. Yes. I need you to show me how to do it. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not going anywhere until you tell me what I need to know. Oh, you oh. my fucking life! It was my life, Jimmy! <laughs> the past is the past! Now, right here, in the present moment, I need your fucking help! Father, who's this? Well, this is Henry Royson. He can help us. So 
societal obligations getting in the way of your girlfriend's demon possession. It's my dad. He's, he's probably calling to see how Emily is. Thoughtful. I'll let it go to voicemail. I think we're out of the woods, Father. I spoke to her. I think she's better. I told her to come back to me, and she snapped right out of it. I think it's all going to be okay. <laughs> Sweetie, where have you been? Are you okay? Why, why am I outside? Why, why am I dressed like this? It's okay. okay. We'll get you cleaned up, okay? What the fuck is he doing here? Get out! Get out! Hello, mm. Reisman. Grab her. She's not your girlfriend, she's a fucking demon. Grab her! Take it up to the bedroom. I need some rope or wire. I need to tie it down. Come on! I'll be pissed when it gets up. You know my fucking name! Till it's weaker, hungrier, tired, and then we'll exercise this motherfucker. You don't have the strength, Reisman. They kicked you out. <laughs> Excommunicated. You're ashamed. You're right, I don't have the strength, but he does. <laughs> he doesn't believe. <laughs>
He'll get there. And when he does, he'll put you back to hell where you belong. <laughs> It's going to take three or four sessions. I can't tell how many are in there, but it's probably just one. We'll need to tie it down. Her. Not it. Maybe you're not paying attention to what's happening to your girlfriend here. Fiance. That thing inside her, that's a demon that's taking possession of her soul. We might be able to send it back to hell, but your fiance is almost surely dead. Uh, Royce, we can save her. Maybe. But when we start driving that demon out, it's going to start fighting back hard. All the powers and dark forces it can muster. Men die during exorcisms. Killed by creatures like that thing tied to that bed. What's All wrong? Right. Take it easy. And you're going to have to consider something, Jimmy. You're going to have to consider what's in front of you. It's right. I can't do the exorcism. It's going to have to be you. You're going to have to go to confession. Get yourself pure. Hold yourself to a high standard. Like you did me. Get your Bible and your purple stole and meet us back here sundown. You confess? Yes. Everything? You gotta be clean. I said yes. All right. Holy water on all of us. Bless us all. May the Lord protect us as we do his bidding. The demon inside her. It has access to all her memories. It will tell lies to hurt you, to piss you off. It wants you to lose control. If you want your girlfriend back, don't let it get inside your head. You read me? Yes. All right, then. Let's do this. Henry. I'm sorry. I know. I know you Both of you, face it. From all evil, deliver us, O oh Lord. From all sin, from the snares of the devil. Here to help you, sweetie. I'm not your sweetie. I don't love you, and I never loved you. That's not true. Don't listen. Go on, Jimmy. From anger, hatred, and all ill will, from all rudeness, from everlasting death, by the mystery of your holy incarnation. Oh, Willie. <laughs> A surprise for you. By your baptism and your holy fasting. I only came to visit while you were gone. What? We had a little girl time. You were pray, damn it. Pray. <laughs> it didn't end well. 
I killed her, and then I broke her in half. Lies will not move us, demon. Oh, I don't even see for yourself, Rachel. Oh, she's right over there. <laughs> don't, William. Don't. William, not now. <laughs> Do it! Do it now! Don't. Oh, stay here. Mm. William. Jimmy. <laughs> no, 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 no. You cannot call me Linda anymore. Now it's Mom. <laughs> <laughs> you killed my mother. Mm -hmm. She begged for her life while I ripped her in half. <laughs> she screamed for mercy. <laughs> she told me how much she loved me. William! It's a shame she won't be at the wedding. Maybe she got to wear the dress almost time. Bye bye, lover. She killed her. No, no. Emily did not kill her. You you must remember that. It, it was whatever is controlling her. We have to stay focused. We have got to go in there and finish this. My fiance just killed my mother. I'm not finishing anything. Done. Hello. Evening. Mr. Reagan, everything all right? Yeah, no. It's just a bad time. Seems like it. Feel like we're interrupting something here? <sighs> Detectives, how can we help you? Do you mind if we look around? No. Wait, no. Uh, do you have a warrant? You're a lawyer, you're a priest. You have no warrant. And really, you have no right to be in this house without one. Last night, when Tara Mendez died, you neglected to mention she called your cell phone? Ah, you didn't see that one coming, did you? You had a minute-long conversation at one in the morning. Ten minutes later, she's dead, and you're in her house. Can you explain that to me? Listen, I... What was that? Help me! Wait, your hands up! Put your hands up! Just sit down! Hey, 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 I wouldn't go up there if I were you. You shut it! Sit on the couch, everyone, on the couch, now. Help me, please. Dad, don't be afraid, I'm here to help, okay? They hurt me. I, I know, I know. Hanson, call them back up and get an ambulance. Thank you. You're safe now. We need backup and a bus at 414 Freakin' Drive. Bastards. Thank you, sir. Detective, that girl is dead. Shut up! You're going to jail. Cuff them!
Go ahead. Kill me. William, no! Do it! You mustn't say that! Emily's gone! I can see that now. I protected this evil thing for too long. It allowed it to kill way too many people. She'll do it. Just end it. Kill me! Where are you going? Get back here! Get back here, damn it! Kill me! Hold it! No, 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 Jimmy, no, 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 Jimmy, no. We have to save it. She's still alive. Emily's gone. No. The demon couldn't kill you. Emily wouldn't let it. She's in there. She needs you, William. Jimmy can't do it on his own. She needs you to help free her. But we can't do it here. This house is tainted. We gotta find hallowed ground. Hallowed ground? But we gotta go. We gotta move now. The police called it in. Backup's on its way. We gotta get her to a church and drive that demon out, or all of this will be for nothing. It wasn't Emily. It wasn't her. It was that thing inside her. <clears throat> There's two more bodies upstairs. One of them is Malik. Rampart. We're at the scene. We got multiple 187s. Release APP. Send back up over. Roger 1 out of 12. We'll triangulate suspect's cell phone and report. Five minutes. <laughs> 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 What's happening? Stay back.
Emily? Be careful. I know you can hear me. I know you're in there. Speak from the heart, William. Let her know what she's fighting for. We're gonna win this. You and me, together. William! William! He loves you! Help us, Lord, and deliver us from evil. You'll not have it, demon. You'll go to hell. and the dirt and you have to get your hands dirty you have to sacrifice some of your own comfort if you want to help people <laughs> i love you emily blair i love how you like to hold hands i love how you are with kids i love that you ride your bike in the rain and the sunlight makes you sleep i love you I love how you kiss. By your coming. I love by your birth. Oh, tastes so sweet. By your baptism and ah, holy fasting. <sighs> Cross and passion. I love how you bite your lips. By your death your nerves. and bury. Go! <laughs> I'm losing my desire not to hurt you, Willie. By your beauty, by your conviction, by your carrying your cross, by the love of the world, by your death, I love you, Willie. I'm sending you to hell. I love that you leave the by lights on all day. By your miraculous resurrection. I love that the full moon makes you cry. It's working. Open up! 
Don't stop! Don't stop! By your wondrous ascension. I love that you agreed to marry By the coming of the Holy Spirit. I love that you agreed to marry me. We sinners, we beg I love that I now we know that my life is not worth living without you. That you spare us. You make me better. Pardon us. Adore of Turn my person. I love me. I need to fight now. My kingdom come. My will be done. Fight for me. Fight for us. to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. You have a right to... Move forward slowly. Slowly. Don't make any false moves. I can explain everything, officer. I'm crazy. Society must be protected from me. Look, I know it isn't this simple. And I know those two kids had something to do with it. Why are you taking it all on? You probably won't understand this, but... Sometimes... One has to be selfless and make sacrifices for the greater good. And what the hell is that supposed to mean? You want to do good in this world? You gotta get your hands dirty. Whatever.
can't say I like what you've done with the place. 